Peace Movers, what up? <clears throat> movers, what up? How y'all doing out there? What up, guys? Welcome to Motivation Monday. Still early. What up, y'all? Shout to everybody in the building early. I know it's the end of the year. A lot of people checked out. This is what we do. When they sleeping, when they're chilling, we understand the grind don't stop. We understand that this is what we do. My movers, Christian, what up? See George just into the building. Oh, my man D Ferg, I see him in the building. What up, what up, y'all? Tonight's a rough night for me, guys. But we gonna get through it. To all my movers. Joe Paul, I see you, brother. Pierre, what up? Pierre underscore Barclay. What up? Salute. It's Monday Night Motivation. See my man, D. Ferg, Vibranium Gold. Vibranium Gold. Go follow him, y'all. Go follow Vibranium, Vibranium Gold. This is what we do. We support one another. And we show up while everybody else is asleep, while everybody else is taking a break, getting ready for whatever they're going to do on New Year's Eve. We still putting in the work. We understand the job is not done until it's done. So I just want to thank everybody, all the movers out there. I don't care where you at. If you checked in right now, it's a commitment. You're showing that you are different from the others. You're not just talk. You're not just words. You're different. And that's who we are over here. We're movers. So for all of the movers, I see my man Big Time CEO. What up? I see you in the building. What is that? Who else we got in the building? TC Unleashed. Y'all uh, just, you know, we all go through some things in this life. And like I said, tonight is a rough one for me, but we're going to do it anyway because we got to show up. Life don't stop. Life is difficult. But this is what we do. We show up. We show up. We show up. We show up. Monday night, 7 p.m. Motivation Mondays. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Open forum for all of the movers. This is where we come. We share. We exchange ideas, we exchange inspiration and motivation. Who else I see? We got uh, Brother North, what up? Go please support my man, Brother North. He's in the comments right now. Some of the best music, like like this guy's music is incredible. Brother North, I love, I, I love what you're doing out there. I love that you're taking this grind and you ain't waiting for a record deal. You out there grinding on your own and you showing them, selling it out the trunk of the car. That ain't just words when it come to you. Shout to my man, Brother North. Terrell Smith, what up? So I'm going to just get into it, guys, because I'm not going to hold y'all long. And like I said, the, the, tonight is, is, is it's a difficult one for me. Um, You know, and it just made me think to a few years ago. I went to a friend's funeral and um, at the funeral, six people showed up, four of which was his family, two of which was co-workers. And I have been sitting with that for years because I'm like how can I bring this into what it is that I'm doing and 
I had to ask myself, even back then, what was this man doing for 50 plus years of his life that when he left this place, six people showed up, four of which was his family, two of which was co-workers. How was he spending his time this thing, this life thing that we go through, y'all, it is a gift. It's a gift. And as much as I'm all for the hard work, as much as I'm all for getting out there and making this money, I understand that mm -hmm. there's not a minute or a second that is promised to us. It's nothing guaranteed. So what we do from sun up to sun down, it matters. What impact are you making? And I know I'm speaking, and tonight I'm just speaking from the heart, y'all. I'm on live with a bunch of movers. I'm on live with a bunch of go-getters. But if you left this place tonight, if you left this place five seconds from now, how would your name be remembered? What will people say about you? What impact did you bring to this world? And that's something that after going to that man's funeral and in light of things that just happened in my life, you, you got to ask this question. And about a week or so ago, I put up a post. And on that post it said, I used to think the goal was to make millions. But I now know legacies are built by impacting millions. Yes, we all want to make money. Yes, we all want to be better off leaving this place than when we came to it. But it's your name. It's your name. That's your legacy. How will people speak your name when they speak of you and you're no longer here? So I got to ask everybody because as I'm sitting here and I'm talking to you and now as I had a chance to really just process what's going on in my own life, I started to think about my name because that's all it's about, right? When you say the name Ali, it's no questions asked. When you say the name Mayweather, it's no questions asked. Gates, Jobs, Tyson. You know what those names mean. And you know what they stood for. They stood for something more. And I got to ask you just like I asked me. What do I stand for? What am I doing? Is it self-serving? Or am I doing something to impact not just my life? In the lives of my family and my loved ones. But people I ain't never met. I tell people this all the time. My legacy. Should I leave this place five minutes from now? If there's somebody on the other side of the world. Who decides to make a change in their life. Because of words I said. Or for something I did. That is what I want my legacy to be. Somebody who's never met me, somebody who will never have the opportunity to shake my hand, somebody who never have the opportunity to speak to me. It was because of a man named Sean Prez that I became the woman or the man that I am today. That's what legacies are, y'all. And I want, as we kind of come out of this 2020, which has been such a, a difficult and ravaging year. It has taken so many people. It has hurt so many families. You got to look at yourself and say, is what I'm fighting for bigger than just me and my bank account? Because it has to be. It has to be. Your name depends on it. And I sit and I think because so many of you are looking for approval. And so many people hit me and say, I don't have the support of my loved ones. 
And I don't know what to do because the man that I lay with every night, he won't support my dreams. And I got to ask him. Same thing all the time. The lion is the king of the jungle. Do you think a lion wakes up and asks any other animal in the wild kingdom, is it okay for me to be the king of this place? It's what he do. And movers, this is what we do. We are movers. Don't ask for permission. Don't look for validation. Don't worry about if nobody understands you. Because they won't until you make them. Until you go out there and show and prove. And I truly believe that that gift, that thing in you that separates you, it's there. Tap into it. It's right there. Do you think a fish has ever had to take swimming classes? Has a bird, have any of y'all ever seen a bird in flight school? Too often people are looking and they're trying to look outside of themselves. What's my gift? What's that thing that I am the best at? You know it. You do it. It's already inside of you. I'm just saying. It's 2020. We're coming to the close. Embrace it. Unapologetically. Embrace it. Latch on to that thing. That you do so well. But it has to be bigger than your bank account. It has to be bigger than your own financial gain. We sit here and y'all have all heard it. People say, look, I've never seen a Brinks truck behind a hearse. I've seen a bunch of crying people behind a hearse, which tells me, no, you can't take that money with you. But the love. But the love, the impact that you make, that goes right with you into this afterlife. And as I sit here, heartbroken tonight, y'all, because this right here, this warrior mentality, the CEO, the founder, the guy who created this thing, he left this earth yesterday, y'all. And when I tell you, I am heartbroken. I'm, 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 I'm gutted right now. This, I almost can't believe as I am on this live, that a guy who was on every single one of these lives with me, who encouraged me, Sean, keep doing it. We gonna do it together. Because we have the warrior mentality is no longer, it's just no longer here. And as I sit and I think about him and his legacy and the impact he made on my life, I can't help but do nothing but smile as heartbroken as I am. He made an impact. The love goes with them. The love that we feel, it ain't going nowhere. And I got to ask y'all, if you left here, is it going to be somebody who's saying, I'm broken. I am broken because this person was my everything. And I think of my man. And I'm not going to keep y'all for too long because I almost canceled this live. And, and, and I sat and I had to think to myself, g g g what can I bring? The motivation, the energy? I'm not even feeling that. But this is what warriors do. This right here, this warrior mentality, warriors don't take a day off. We don't. Warriors don't understand the meaning of getting knocked down and not getting back up. It's what we do. It is a mentality. And I had to come before y'all tonight. As crushed as I am. And just exemplify everything that that man exemplified. There wasn't a time that I got done with these lives that he didn't hit me. 
and tell me you did it tonight or you was a little off tonight or you need to work on this. But that's what we do for one another and that's the community I want to create with you guys. We got to have that warrior mentality. We have to and we have to understand through each other, together, there's not a hit that we can't take. There's not a setback that we would not look at as an opportunity for a comeback. And I ask everybody to please with me as I close this thing out, give a 10 minute moment of silence for Michael Smith Jr. AKA JR, AKA the warrior mentality. Thanks for just allowing me to get this off my chest. Thanks for allowing me to share and grieve with y'all because y'all are my inspiration. And just know, I pray and I hope the same way I say my man, J. Michael Smith Jr. Le left a lasting legacy on my life that is something that I say, will say in the future, something I've done or will done do in the future that leaves a lasting legacy on y'all life. We movers, y'all. We movers. This ain't a selfish community. We in this together. I love y'all. Jay, I love you, man. Like, like I, I, I can't even express how much I do, man. All right, movers, I'm going to end it here. Let's keep it up. I'll see y'all on Wednesday night. You know, come with your questions. Come with your ideas. Come ready to really just support each other because that's what this thing is about, y'all. Peace and blessings, peace and love, and I guess I'll see y'all on Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Rod Dollars, I see you, kid. All right, all the best. I love y'all. One.